Good day everyone! Let's start our lesson with an interesting fact. So you can see here a picture. It's a pyramid of Egypt. Did you know that the pyramids were built as burial places and monuments to the pharaohs? The Great Pyramid of Giza, which is the largest pyramid, is made from 2.3 million blocks of rock weighing 5.9 million tons and it took at least 20,000 workers over 23 years to build. There were traps and curses put on the tombs to keep robbers out. And the Pyramid of Giza has a base of a perfect square. And this pyramid, by the way, is an example of a solid figure. Now, what is a solid figure? A solid figure is called spatial or space figure which is a three-dimensional figure that has three dimensions. We have here the length, the width, and the height. It can also be called geometric shapes. Solid figures can be identified by the shapes of their bases, the number of bases, and the shapes of their lateral faces. Now, each solid figure has faces. Here, is, here are the faces of a solid figure and the edge is an example of an edge and vertices. We are surrounded by 3D shapes. It can be a gift or a present, a cabinet, a can of soda, a ball, an ice cream cone, a tent and many more solid figure has its parts and they are faces or any flat surfaces now a shape with a flat surface can stand still while curved faces could roll away and edges which are line segments where two faces meet and vertices where points where two or more edges meet Let's compare solid figures to a plane figure. Now, a plane figure is a flat, closed figure that is in a plane. It can be made of straight lines, curved lines, or both straight and curved lines. Here are some of the shapes for a plane figure. So we have here a square, circle, triangle, rectangle, trapezoid, parallelogram, rhombus, and hexagon. So these are just some of plane figures. There are two types of solid figures. We have polyhedron and non-polyhedron. Now polyhedrons are solid figures with flat polygonal faces, straight edges, and sharp corners or vertices. While non-polyhedrons are solid figures whose surfaces are not all flat does not have polygonal surfaces. An example of polyhedrons are cube, cuboid or prism, and pyramid. And for non-polyhedrons, we have cone, sphere, and cylinder. Now, let's describe a cube. So this is a figure of a cube. And a cube is a polyhedron. And all of the faces are squares. So all of its sizes of the faces and edges are identical. So we have here, we have six faces. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the net of the cube. And it has eight vertices and 12 edges. Another one is cuboid. Or we call it prism. Now this is similar to the cube. But a cube has the same length of edges. Cuboid has different size of edge. That is why it is called cuboid. So here's an example. This is the net of the cuboid or the prism. And this is the solid figure or the prism. Now, a prism or a cuboid is a poly polyhedron. And it has two parallel and congruent bases. And all other faces are rectangles. So as you can see here, 
we have here two bases and they are parallel and congruent, meaning they are equal, and the rest of the faces are rectangles. Note that base is a part of the face of the faces. It is a surface of the solid object that stands on, and it can be on the bottom or both bottom and top. And since the shape of on the bottom and the top are the same, the general category of this shape is called a prism. Now, prisms are more specifically named by the shape of the base. Now, in this case, the shape of the base is a square. So, this solid figure is called a square prism. And take note that prism has two polygonal bases or two congruent and parallel bases. The faces, or it has six faces, eight vertices, and 12 edges. It can be called triangular prism with this figure if the bases are triangle and square prism if the bases are squares, pentagonal prism if the bases are pentagon, so there are two bases which are pentagon, and hexagonal prism if the bases are hexagon, and many more. The number of sides of the bases is the same as the number of its rectangular faces. So in the triangular prism, it has three rectangular faces. Since there are three sides in triangle, and for the square prism, it has four rectangular uh, faces since it has four sides. And for pentagonal prism, we have five rectangular faces or faces since it has five sides for pentagon and so on. Next is pyramid. So this is a pyramid and this is the net of the pyramid. Now, pyramid is a polyhedron, and the base can be any polygon. So it has a single base and a common vertex where edges and faces meet. That is why the faces are always triangle. And the name of the pyramids is based on its base. The number of sides of the base is the same as the number of its triangular faces. So here, this kind of pyramid is a square pyramid. And um, if it is a square pyramid, it, there are five faces and five vertices and then eight edges. So it's square, it is a square pyramid since the base is a square and all of the faces are triangle. We have also here a triangular pyramid because the base is a triangle with three faces we have here a square pyramid with with the same example and we have here pentagonal pyramid since the base is a pentagon with five uh, triangular faces since pentagon has five sides and we have here a hexagonal pyramid since it has six sides for the base and it has six triangular faces since it has six sides. Next is a cone. So this is a figure of a cone and this is the net of the cone. Now, cone is a non-polyhedron and it has one flat surface. It has circular base, two faces, one vertex here, and no edge again take note that a cone has only one base and it's a circle next we have here a cylinder so this is the figure of a cylinder with its net and it's a non-polyhedron with congruent circular bases that are parallel so cylinder has two bases that are a circle and it has three Curved faces, zero vertex, so cylinder has no vertex, and edges, there are no edges. Now, sphere. Okay, 
So sphere is a non-polyhedron and it, has, it is a round solid figure with all its point on its surface equidistant from the center. It has only one curved face, no vertex, no edge also. Let's have more examples of solid figures. Now, this time, let's identify what kind of solid figure is described here. So we have, what do you call a solid figure that has two triangular bases and three rectangular faces? So take note of our keyword here. We have two bases. That means it's a prism. But what's the name of that prism? And the clue here is we have faces or rectangular faces. And we know that prism has rectangular faces and we name the prism by its base. So if there are two triangular bases, therefore it's a triangular prism. Next, what do you call a solid figure that has two circular bases and curved face? So we have here two circular bases, so that means it's a cylinder. Now, which solid figure has six congruent square faces? So it's very obvious that if uh, all, all faces are square and they are identical and congruent, therefore it's a cube. Now, which solid figure has triangular faces and a square base? So if the face is a triangle and it has only one base that means it's a pyramid so what's the name of the pyramid so we name it by the shape of its base so it says here that it's a square it has a square base therefore it is called square pyramid next what do you call a solid figure that has two congruent polygonal bases so it's as long as there are two bases or congruent polygon therefore it's a prism and what's the name of the prism so it's it doesn't says here the name of the base th therefore it's just a prism or a cuboid in general next what do you call a solid figure that has rectangular bases and has four rectangular faces so if the faces are rectangle that means it's a prism and it says here that the bases are rectangles, so therefore it is rectangular prism. Next, what do you call a solid figure that has one circular base and a vertex or one vertex? So it has one circular base, that means it's a cone. Next, which solid figure has triangular faces and a triangular base? So it has one base and the base is a triangle and the faces are triangles triangle that means it's a pyramid and what's the name of the pyramid it's triangular pyramid last one what do you call a solid figure that is a circle with thickness so it's very obvious it's a sphere thank you for listening and i hope that you understand our lesson